All right, we're at the 2024 Miami International Boat Show. We're incredibly excited to be here. Can't wait to see all that they have to offer. Really looking forward to today. Especially because it's going to be your first time oh, yes. in a Miami boat show. So I'm like, I want to know what, you, what are your expectations. So and after we can compare what we are seeing later. So what do you feel about that? So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of great engine technology, a lot of cool gadgets, and of course, some amazing boats. I can't wait to get inside and check this out. Okay. All right, let's go. Hi everyone, I'm here with Taiga Motors and Anik, who is the marketing director, and today we're going to talk about some exciting technology, which is a fully EV, as you can see, Wave Runner. So let's talk with Anik and really discover what we can about this new innovation in technology. Yes. So Anik, what can you tell us about this exciting craft? Yeah, this is Orca Performance. It's the latest model of 100% electric personal watercraft made by Taiga. Mm -hmm. uh, it has all of the benefits that we've come to know and love from the EV industry, meaning there's no emissions, no noise, no smell, no more gas, no mm. maintenance on the pirate train. We just yes. kept the fun of riding. Oh, that's fantastic. So what can you tell me about the performance of the craft? Yeah, so this is a sporty two-seater. It has a top speed of 62 miles an hour, and it's really made to play on the water, do some donuts, jump some waves, uh -huh. and just really have a lot of fun. So how much fun can I have on the water? How long is this gonna last? And what about, tell me about the charging capabilities of yeah. this craft. So we have about two hours of continuous ride time. So okay. what we find our customers do with their craft, they go out, ride a little bit, get to a destination, do some donuts, mm. jump some waves, come back to dock and recharge. Oh, great, okay, all right. So let's talk about the construction. Where's the battery sit and how does that impact performance? Yeah, so you can imagine that most of the weight of the craft will be driven by the batteries. Mm -hmm. So they sit well at the bottom of the hull and below your rider. Okay. So what that means is that most of the weight is below the water line, yes. which makes for a very stable craft. So uh -huh. even if you're carving really aggressively, as uh -huh. soon as you release the throttle, it'll come back to its standing position. Okay, right, so a very low center of gravity is gonna help performance. If I got small kids on here, they're not gonna fall all over we're gonna have a great time and enjoy it so what about charging so what's really fun about our vehicles is that you can charge into pretty much anything as long as there's current okay. your first option is level one which is your regular 110 wall plug okay. and that takes an overnight charge okay. uh, your second option is your level two charger that's a 220 volt and that takes about three hours for a full charge so you can either share the charger that you have with your electric car or even better, if you have direct water access, you can have a charger installed at your dock. It is perfectly safe. Uh, the last option is level three charging, DC fast charge, which is available on public charging infrastructure. And that's 40 minutes to 80% state charge. That's awesome. Um, so what can you tell us about the number of models that are gonna be produced? Do you have a variety of models that are coming out? And approximately where's that price point for our interested consumers? Yeah, so we have two models that are currently available for purchase. We have Orca Performance, which is our mid-range model. It retails at 19,500 USD and it's okay. available now. Okay. It's available in this color combination of white and black. Okay. The other model we have is Orca Carbon, which you can see on the other side of our booth. This one is our limited edition top of the range model, retails at 26,500. Okay. It's available in seven colors of body, three colors of seat, and it comes with DC fast charge already enabled. All right, well, this is exciting technology. I would love to take it out, but we are here at the boat show, so we can't get on the lake today. But if our customers want to follow up with you, where can they go and look at uh, your website, get more information? Absolutely. So go to tagamotors.com. You'll have all of the specs and information on our vehicles, and we can organize a test ride for you if you're interested. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we're excited about this technology and looking forward to seeing it on the water. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, bye -bye. Right, this is really exciting new technology. This is the Yamaha hydrogen engine. So very, very excited to hear about this and what this is going to do to the marine industry hopefully in the next few years. How awesome would that be to be able to have a hydrogen powered engine on your boat. So just some really interesting things about this as I was reading this morning. First, you have to redesign the entire 
capabilities of the boat, the Yamaha worked with Roush to design a hull that would accommodate for the hydrogen tanks, as you can see here. Can't be liquid hydrogen, obviously, because liquid hydrogen has to be cooled. So they stuck the uh, tanks in the center line of the boat. And this is compressed hydrogen gas, which is then squirted out through the jet that you see right there. And that powers the engine, just like a normal combustion engine. So you can see it looks like a standard poppet valve configuration. For valves, standard combustion chambers. So it maintains all the same technology that we have in the current gas operated poppet valve engines. But it's burning hydrogen instead of gas. So that means a lot more power output and a lot more capabilities for the engine. But there are some limitations to that, as you can see at this point in time, the technology is very limited due to the fact that you have massive hydrogen tanks to power the boat so you can be out on the water. And then obviously you've got to think about refueling where you're going to get compressed hydrogen gas. But really amazing technology. Roush in partnership with Yamaha to produce the hydrogen engine. And this is the boat hole that they've designed to accommodate for that. And there it is. This isn't just something that they're sticking here for the boat show. This is actually a working model. So very, very exciting technology. All right, this is the new Boston Whaler 210 Vantage. An incredibly nice boat, especially one that punches above its size based on Boston Whaler's uh, incredible build quality. You can see the uh, classic Boston Whaler steering wheel, digital dash, all the appropriate toggle switches, interior bathroom, which on a 21 is unique. Then moving forward into the bow area, which is very spacious for a 21. You can seat a lot up here. Incredible durability and construction on the materials as well. Of course, it's Boston Whaler. You would expect nothing less. So at the Boston Whaler Pavilion, this is definitely a big attraction, the new 210. If you're interested in the market, I would definitely reach out to Boston Whaler on this. This is a really nice boat. Coming towards... Uh, the stern of the boat they have these innovative pop-up seats here which you can fit a couple of additional people on so there's one on the port one on the starboard side as well really nice comes with all the uh, uh, fishing rod holders in the gunnels as well across the back really nice boat i was just talking to a guy that said he'd had it 30 miles offshore and felt very comfortable with the ride quality great boat we'll continue looking at boston whaler mm -hmm. All right, there's the 280 Vantage, 240 Vantage, and over here is the 320. Amazing boats. All right, this is the 320 Vantage. Absolutely amazing boat. It is definitely top of the line for the day boat class. Incredible comfort when going offshore. Maximum capabilities, comfort and ride, safety. This is absolutely that boat. I know we, we were looking at this boat before we bought the uh, 280 Vantage. We actually purchased one. And uh, then we settled on the 280 after that. It was just too much for our setup, but uh, just amazing dual screens, joystick, the whole nine yards, amazing bathroom. And walking forward, you definitely feel the length of the boat in this uh, incredible bow area. 
just a spectacular, spectacular boat to enjoy, especially if you're going offshore. We go to the Bahamas a lot, as you guys know, and this is one of those boats that gets you where you want to be um, in safety and comfort. Do you have a question? <laughs> There's power seats as well. Goes up and down. Full comfort. Enjoy. <laughs> and then you can turn this whole thing into an amazing bed. It's awesome. Love it. All right, guys, this is the 280 Vantage. As you know, this is our boat. We absolutely love it. Amazing, amazing boat. Hey, how are you? Hey, good, thanks. We have had a lot of good years on this boat in the water, taking it offshore, been to the Bahamas. It just keeps on delivering and we love it. It's always nice to see it in the most impeccably clean condition there is at a boat show. Makes you want to buy a new one, doesn't it? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it right there. The best part about it. The joystick, digital drive. It's amazing. Yep. No joystick, no boat. Not. Gotta have the joystick. If there's no joystick, not not messing with it. Love this boat. Highly, highly recommend. You see a dealer and talk to them about. The 280 Vantage it is an amazing boat that you feel unbelievably confident in offshore and on the lake. Legendary Boston Whaler construction. Just look at the thick steel here. The windows, just the structure around this boat is spectacular. If you've never been on one, do yourself a favor. Get on a 280 Vantage or a 320 Vantage. If you need slightly larger, this will absolutely get you where you need to go safely. Love these boats. And right next door is the 240 Vantage, which is the slightly smaller sibling. It only has a, a single engine, so that means you can't get joystick, but still a very spectacular boat. So the 240, just slightly smaller but still has all the Boston Whaler cues and styling, which are amazing. Hard top. So you never have to put the bimini up and down. Absolutely love it. Don't want ever want to be without having that hard top. And because these are so structurally rigid, you can actually stand on top of them and they will support your weight and anybody else you want to put up there. Really, really amazing boats. That's las de ayer navegué junto era 42 pies all right this is a 350 realm another amazing boat from boston whaler look how wide and big massive this boat is triple 400s on the back wood accents throughout the boat beautiful craftsmanship Grill, summer kitchen across the back. Uh-oh. Muriel's saying, oh, wow. That means I'm in trouble. This is what we need. That means we I'm in be, trouble. We can be together here. Yep. Huh? That means yeah. I have to open my checkbook. Isn't exactly. that what it means? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. I need to be here. I need to be here. So. Yes. Perfect. See? And now I just, I just ended up buying a bigger boat. Look at that. We can be both captains. Yes. No, it's amazing. I, I do like that side by side, especially if you love your wife like I do. You know, you want her to be Come right there with you. Yes, yeah. it's our surprise for today on all new Whaler. <laughs> Refrigerator over here, large dual screens, joystick, just beautiful wood craftsmanship. Really, really nice. And then heading down. Full size bathroom. 
And then seating area with TV, large and deep, very, very comfortable for a day on the water. Or if you have storms and you want to get out of the weather, you could definitely have an enjoyable time down there. Heading forward to the bow. I love this layout. Nice big sun pad. Comfortable seating for three across. And then a little bow area for the kids. Ours just love to sit here, hold on the rails and stand up and, or be, actually not stand up, but be on their knees and feel the wind in their face. Or just chill. Or just area. chill in this area, yep. Very, very nice. Love it. All right, 350 Realm, an amazing boat. Moving on. All right, this is the 405 Conquest. 3600? 40 feet long, 1800 horsepower, 620 gallons worth of fuel. Big, big boat. Triple 600s across the back. Amazing new engines in and of themselves. The engines do not move. The pods on the bottom actually rotate, providing the maximum amount of versatility as you go through the water and maneuver the boat. Here you can see plenty of walkway across the back. Large entryway area for fishing. This is about five to six feet across. Really, really large. And for those of you that saw the St. Augustine video, one of our friends, Paul, this was a new boat that he had purchased at that point in time. So you see a little bit of us sitting there in St. Augustine on a similar boat. This is that boat. Amazing boat, just crushes the waves. Nice sitting area, top cabin. Um, it's mainly it's going to be by hours, just like in, just like any engine. Um, I don't know what their intervals really are. Um, I mean, got this thing Joystick on the left and the right side. You're definitely going to cruise somewhere in the mid, low to mid thirties. Forward cabin. Right conditions. We had it in the sixties with the six hundreds. Heading downstairs. Got a nice seating area here. You can do Yeah. That folds out into a larger table. Now we can sit comfortably. <laughs> There's the uh, master cabin up front. The bed's a little tight. <laughs> looks like a single. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep, looks like a single. Your kitchen area here. And then another berth right below the helm area. Well, this looks uh, yeah, like a double actually. You could easily fit two people in there. Yeah, it looks bigger, but it's actually pretty small, but still amazing. Appointments, closets, and then there's your bathroom right there. The good thing about this is that, that you can help me a lot because yes. we can keep together. So. That's right. Yep. It keeps you very close to your wife. If you had a different setup in the back, the stove would actually be behind this seat. All right, so this boat with triple sixes cruises in the mid 30s. Very nice boat. We'll run you in the 1.3 to 1.7 range, depending on options. Impressive engines. All right, here is the classic Montauk. Boston Whaler is known for this boat. Been around for ages. Is absolutely spectacular. It's a nice, nice boat to run around, do some lake fishing, just get on the water and have a great time. This one's powered with a 115. It's a beautiful boat. Five year warranty. Run forever. 20 years from now, you still have the Montauk. Very, very comfortable and amazing boat. 
All right, this is the all new Boston Whaler 365 Conquest. There's your price point. 36 feet long, holds 14, 410 gallons, 1200 horsepower. It's got twin 600s on the back. Amazing boat. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of people on there. This one comes with the upper station. Beautiful lines down the side, very similar to the 405 Conquest. Open side glass. Then you can see the uh, cushions on the front bow here that makes a nice sun deck. Radar, spotlights, the whole nine yards. Beautiful boat. Obviously, first and foremost. Uh, and how often that's going to be? It's a very similar feel to the 405 Conquest, obviously just a little bit smaller dimensions. Rear sunshade, controls on the top for the fishing deck, and then access down the sides. Amazing boat. And then electric grill in the back. Cleaning stations. All right, then walking forward. Great seating area, all under cover. Unfortunately, no dual joystick on the port side. Large screens, though. Beautiful colors and craftsmanship. And then just a simple seating area down below. Feel very safe on the water in this though. The owner's club lounge. Awesome, thank you. All right. The perks of owning a Boston Whaler at the owner's club? Come on, love it. All right, look at this. White glove treatment up here. Love it. Hats for you. Wow. wow, and hats? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, okay. Actually, just so trade me. Must. Just trade me. Trade? Yeah, just trade me. I'll you take like that. that one yeah, really? it's wonderful. I want to match with you. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you want to match with me? Yeah. Oh, so okay. Like sorry, ma'am. So All right, thank you. Yes, love it. It's beautiful. Yes. Go get your photos, right? Yeah. There we go. First class service. Oh my God. This is all about being a Boston Whaler customer, you see? This is why you're a Boston Whaler customer right here. <laughs> Nothing like it. That's right. The full treatment. All right, so this is the Brabus Pavilion. On this side is the 37 which retails for about 550. And this is the 28 foot version. You can see Marielle is on. So Axopar makes the holes. Brabus does the customization and they are uh, phenomenal as far as the appointments in the boat. And this retails in around the 380 to 400 range. So we'll do a quick step up on this one. This is the 28. You can see with 500 horsepower twins on the back. And they're a Finnish company. So a little bit of a different look than what you would probably find from a US manufacturer. Very sleek lines. Plenty of forward seating, which is always very, very nice to have. Dual screens in the cockpit. Three if you count Marielle's. <laughs> this is neat. Yeah, isn't that cool? A little cockpit area. We are close. Yep. So I think I Yep. Yep. Yep, you're in a very contained area. 
So that is good because yes. we can get closer. Yep. The wife is really big about that. Us sitting side by side as we go Please. to the Bahamas. Love it. Love it. The wife is cute. Yes. And then coming forward, you have your bow area as well. With the bravest branding. And then your windlass. So a very narrow bow area comes to a really fine point up front. It's not really a deep V, it's very shallow, but exceptionally wide beam as you get a little bit further back. And the top is kind of a fabric material on a steel frame. All right, so we'll step over to the 37 and check that out now. All right, so we're leaving the Shadow 500, which is the 28 foot version, but 500 horsepower. Really clean, nice lines. I don't mean the wife, I mean the boat. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> and now we're into the Shadow 900, which is the 37 foot 450 R's. Three seats rear. Toe or ski hook across the back. Here's your summer kitchen. Lighting throughout the boat, LED. And again, it looks like Brabus is really large on the forward facing seats, which is fantastic because you've got four facing forward. Yep, you can fold this out. This opens up. There you go. And then you can turn those three seats around. And then you're good. All right, so we'll just give a quick walk through the Brabus. As you can see, the center cockpit. Really nice, sleek design. And then moving forward, you have this side hatch that opens up. And you've got a berth, really long berth, at least six feet. And then forward, really shallow sides. You can see my, my knees are higher than the gunnels. But very sleek, really nice pad. Very cool look. Very cool. And then you also have a cabin downstairs. Which is really nice. Has that finished styling to it. All right, we're going to step into Scout. Take a look at their area. An amazingly beautiful boats at Scout. All right, the 425 XLF, LXF, sorry. Scout's an amazingly constructed boat built for speed has that Carolina flare across the front of the bow. They all do. Beautiful boats, beautiful interiors. Who's that? All right, and here we are now heading over to another scout. And we see some amazing boats here. And we see somebody who's very suspect in front of us. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sneaking up on you. Yes. You look very official. Look at you, you've got a VIP. Right? Yeah. yeah, Boston Whaler VIP. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes, we have spent our time in the Boston Whaler provision, and Good they said, us, so. oh my gosh, Fantastic. great customers are here. Let's have some fun. That's awesome. So.
Yeah. All right, Phil. You having fun? We are. We're having a blast. We have hit the Boston Whaler provision. Yeah. Um, now we're over here to look at Scout. Awesome. So. Well, welcome. Yeah. We've got uh, how many, 21. How many sold, do you sold today? What do you think about this how many have we sold today? Uh, two today so far. Oh, not two. Bad. Okay. Not just sold started. two. All right. Just started. You can get like a little. All right. This is the 357 XL, LXF. Beautiful boat, center console. Triple screens, three forward facing seats, amazing. Scout always does an amazing job with their interiors. Very, very beautiful. Up in the bow area, plenty of seating. And this table expands it into a sun pad, lifts up a little bit. There's actually the pad right there. Beautiful, beautiful boats. Next to it's another Scout. Yes. She just loves the forward-facing seats, yes. I know. No, we don't need three, only two. Only two, okay. So All right. Yes, yes. You can't have the wife and your girlfriend, right? Only the wife. Oh, sorry. All right. Edit, edit, quick edit. Pause. All right. Yes, there's three facing forward seats. So three forward facing seats, which is really nice. We only need two. That's really all we need. Yeah. Big, big two big seats that's right because there's only two of us and that's all we need so exactly, exactly. Yeah. all right there we go um. <laughs> all right this is impressive rent, rent. No, no, no. quad 600s with the sides that accordion down Massive, massive space across the back. Ladder to walk up to the roof. Summer kitchen and sink. This is the Scout 530 LXF. Beautiful area under the top here. This boat is listed at three million. So heading forward to the bow. See how little that cockpit is. It's small for about this size. Much like it's filming. Thanks. All right, coming back, we'll head into the cockpit. Take a look at the specs real quick. Boat show price of three million. Large area down below. All right, so heading down. Oh man, what did we find down here? All right, so this is actually a very large berth. It is very large, yes. So Marielle is about 5'9", maybe a little bit taller, but you can see the berth size here is plenty substantial. Yep, with the elegant lighting. Yep. And then a second berth. Just 
down below. Electric stove. So very nice. Very nice boat, 53 feet, really large, quad 600s, but look at the breadth across the back here, it's got to be at least 15 to 16 feet across. Talk about a day on the water, this would do it, what do you like the most? The shade from this area and it's a full shade Hi. area, you see? The room Dad, is comfy. Dad, and I, to do one thing. I can be really close to you. Mm -hmm. Even than it's even than it's, you know, only one seat, but I still can be close to you and be comfy and we are covered from the sun. Mm -hmm. We have enough space to have the kids or friends, so yep. it's a really nice. Very place. nice. Alright, let's head on. Alright, we are coming up on the Sea Ray Pavilion. All right, we're heading into Sea Ray. Sea Ray is a fantastic boat platform. It's the boat that I started off on. And great boat. We had a 290 SDX. Thanks God, we changed to Boston Whaler because... We switched to Boston Whaler after that, yes, because we wanted to go offshore. Because it doesn't sink? It doesn't sink, it's unsinkable, yes, yes. Okay, Silly. I was telling you that... So we started with the 290 SDX. Actually, here it is. Yes, that is the one Yep. that you have. 276,000. When I met you, yes. and we start today, and after we were married. This was our first video yes. going to the Bahamas. Yes. And my baby wanted to change something, and I said, guess what? Yep. This is beautiful, I like, it's very sexy, it's beautiful and everything, Shoes. But, Shoes. but I don't feel that safe. So he yeah. showed me the Boston the Whaler, Boston Whaler, and I was like, Oh my gosh. Yes. When they told me it doesn't sink, I was okay, I want this All one. Alright, that's about what I want. It doesn't sink. Now Boston Whaler doesn't sink. You feel that it's strong, but the design is not that beautiful. Right. Like C Ray is like you, you can see that it's more beautiful. C Ray is very well appointed, it's yes. beautiful, yes. it's nicely sculpted. Yes. Uh, so. but Boston Whaler, which C Ray is owned um, by Brunswick which mm -hmm. also owns Boston Whaler and they you know produce both of these boats and so you're starting to see some of the Boston Whaler craftsmanships mm -hmm. work its way into the Sea Ray as far as like brackets and material selections and things like that so they're stepping up the quality of the Sea Rays um, and bringing over some of those Boston Whaler elements which is really nice mm -hmm. to see but the Whalers are fantastic boats the Sea Rays are really beautiful boats. I would say we had this exact boat that we're on right now. Mm -hmm. And the 290 SDX, I would say is like a 70% lake boat. And if you want to take it offshore, I took it to the Bahamas. <laughs> uh, I mean, our video now you wonder why is I us in the Bahamas. Safe. Yeah. <laughs> because we went no, on the Bahamas. It was, it, I mean, the boat was plenty fine. In fact, yeah. there were other boats that transitioned their people it. into our boat because this boat was safe. So it's plenty safe. But, but it just when you hit you know bigger waves you, you really it. want that yeah. solid feeling yeah. that you get with the foam filled hole with the uh, the whaler if you're going offshore if you're staying on shore this boat is fantastic yeah. and will do everything you need it to do and it's beautiful it's and it's nice. gorgeous awesome day on the water this boat's going to take care of you and this is a color and you can even do you know the that 270 like. um, the all new 260 is phenomenal as well so you're not going to go wrong if you're, you know, doing maybe a 70-30 mix of um, onshore, offshore. The Sea Ray will get you there in, in nice style. So, mm -hmm. um, in fact, this was where she sat most of the time right there. Yeah, true. Loved it. <laughs> true. So, 
All right, we will head over and look at some other ones. But this is the 290, great boat. All right, so this is the 270. You can see it's powered by a single 300. Very, very similar layout to the 290. Again, fantastic lake boat. The difference is, is that this doesn't have twin engines. So that means no joystick capabilities on the boat, but again, plenty of, of space and fun for any sort of lake environments that you might be on. All right, this is the Sundancer 320 outboard. A little over a half million on this one. Triple 250s across the back. Really nice boat. All right, so we're heading on to 320. 750 horsepower. Again, the very similar Sea Ray styling cues. The linen carpet, very wide beam. Dual screens, beautiful cockpit. Joystick. Beautiful space across the back. Mm. Very, very spacious. You look oddly familiar. All right, heading forward on the 320. Huge bow sun pad. I'll try to go downstairs in just a minute. Apparently, I'm very familiar looking to the uh, Sea Ray salesman. Oh, you know what? That's right. They are all I own. I forgot about that. It's cool as it is. Instead of the galley being located down in the cabin, they moved it up here. Uh, by doing so, when you inevitably burn something, when you cook it, like I do, all right, heading down. It's going to be out here and get that out. Yeah, but it's nice when you're entertaining guests up here and everybody's hanging out. There is a like cockpit spacious. table that mounts right here. Everybody can Under enjoy the cabin while you're area here. I'm sure this turns into a berth. Mounted above that will come then you've got a sleeping area back, back here in which you can so exactly press these together, so together and it creates a very large sleeping area. That sail shade can be out and keep you guys dry. There's a lot of different options. And then a full bathroom here as well. Incredibly unique. Bow for us who no yeah. Well, I like you can drive that. Yeah. Better than an account. Yeah. You still have a microwave and a fridge now. All right. Cabin. Not the 320 now. All right. This is the new 370 Sundancer. All redesigned a couple of years ago. So this is the new look. It's about a million dollars. We'll head on here. Twin 600s on the back, so 1200 horsepower. Sundancer 370. Really large, spacious cabin. This looks beautiful. Look at her. Very elegant and nice space. Yes. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right. Very, very well done. Look, I still have a lot of Plenty space Plenty of space, as she's saying, down there to stand. Beautiful cockpit area. Nice wood grain. I mean, film going back here. You can see how large this is. All under cover. This is a sunroof area. Okay, we'll head up front in just a little bit. Let me head down. Okay. So you even have a small wow, living this room is large. here, my love. This is very large. It's like a small living room here. Yep. If you want to chat for a little yep. bit, you yep. sit when it's very sun, sunny mm -hmm. outside. Yep. And you can, can sit relax. here and just chill. Look, 
you still have a lot of space when you are yep. you are sit. Yep. So sit fits. All right. So I'm six foot one, and you can see how much space is above me there. Mm -hmm. We're st we're talking probably this is a seven and a half foot yeah. um, interior, which is unbelievable on a boat. Nice. So here's your full bathroom, and then just a very very large bow seating area here. That is a problem, maybe to come to a boat show. Is then the next boat is always bigger and better. <laughs> so you. You can you, decide, you get, or if you decide, it's like you need to put more money, and yep. more money, and more money. Now it's you get You get two foot itis, which basically means, oh, I just need two feet more, and then I'll be happy. Two feet more, and then I'll exactly. be happy. Exactly. And you always want just a little bit more, a little bit more. And uh, pretty soon, you're a million dollars into a boat, and you're going, how did I get here? Oh, my gosh. So, you've <laughs> sold the house, sold the wife. Bought a boat. What? Oh, sorry, no. I didn't know. Less no, house, you, you, more less house, boat. more boat. That's that is, that it. Is I my, forgot. That is yes. my, my quotes in last year. I That's know it. Why? What are you waiting? Less house, more boat. Yes. <laughs> Sell the house, buy the boat. <laughs> Love it. All right, heading out. All right, heading forward on the 370. Again, very very large area up front. Nice sun pad, oh, wow. lounging, seating area. Huge Just incredibly large. And look at the size of that glass across yes. there. Huge. That's at least eight feet or so of mm -hmm. glass across there. You kind of lose the perspective with the video. This is huge too. Yeah. Same size. Very large. So you can close it all off. Keep all the weather out. Keep all your occupants well protected from the weather when you're out there. Yes. You need help. Can you help me? Yes, of Thank you so much. Sweet. Thank you. All right. Wow. Very, very beautiful. nice. I love it. Thank you. This what is a big boat. For? It's um, for our YouTube channel. Yeah. This, um, What's this? <laughs> oh, you want all me right, to This is oh. a 350 SLX. All right, this is a 350 SLX, it's the largest in their day boat category for Sea Ray. Comes with the twin 400s, lots of space in the rear, sound package. Very similar layout to the 290 that we were just going through a little bit ago. But the nice thing about the 350 is even though it's a day boat, it has the uh, interior cabin space. This one has a TV and air conditioning. So you can get in there to get out of the weather if you need to. Very nicely appointed. Okay. Joystick, dual screens. So this is a big boat. There. Yep, teak tables up front. We actually, when we originally we're looking at boats a couple of years ago. We originally purchased a 320, which is just slightly smaller than this one. But we were looking at the 320, or no, the 310, sorry, the 310. This one obviously is just a little bit bigger. The beam is about the same, but just an absolutely gorgeous boat. Now the 350, you could easily take offshore. Sunroof up there, you could easily take this one offshore and enjoy a day in comfort and the weight of this boat is going to just punch right through the waves any really any 35 boat 35 foot boat would do that but very very nice and they have the new gray color as well which is new i think probably just in the past couple of years but really nice presence on this boat you have the hard top as well, so you're not taking tops up and down like we had to do on the 290. All right, we'll head over to the 310. Slightly smaller sibling of this one. All right, this is the 310 outboard in the 430 price range.
Comes with twin 400s. Again, just a slightly smaller sibling than the 350. Lots of interior space. Oh. Then we have a bathroom instead yep, of a there's the bathroom. seat area. Yep. Very nice. But it does not have an interior cabin like you saw in the 350, which has a bathroom on one side and then a cabin on the other. This one has more the 290 type interior, but just a larger size. It's a couple feet larger, but it follows the same um, lines. Still a really nice boat. Hard top. So you don't have to worry about taking things up and down. Then you also got sunroof space in there as well. Now you notice the difference, as I pointed out earlier on the Boston Whaler. These are, you know, thin window frames where, although they're capped in stainless, you can see here with the Boston Whaler, the thickness of the steel frame was, or aluminum, was actually about this, maybe an inch and a half thick or so. Is it really, really impressive? This is a solid boat, top of the line for being on the lake. You could easily take this offshore last year going to the Bahamas. Um, some friends took their 310 all the way to the Abacos. Um, so very impressive boat, make the trip no problem. Just crush right through the waves and just have an absolute blast in this beautiful, beautiful day boat. All right, if you're familiar with South Florida boating, you definitely know Midnight Express and Nortec. If you watched any of the boat zone videos or any of those where boats are coming out of haul over inlet, you will always see some Nortex or some Midnights coming out of there, just cruising, just slashing through the waves. They're amazing, amazing boats made in South Florida. All right. Yes. All right, so this is the 43 Solstice. We'll head on up and check it out. So this is made for looking awesome in sprint runs to the Bahamas. Oh my God. Ridiculous. <laughs> 2,500 horsepower on the back. You got five 500 horsepower Mercury racing V8. This is all about to bring your family with you or friends. Yes. This all, all this in style and speed. The most it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Six forward facing seats. Triple looks like 16 inch screens across the front. Yes. It's about bringing your friends, not your family. It is. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. All right. Glass table, even. Maybe plexiglass. Interior. And this is like a. Bad really bad. nice material, Slide Lamborghini. Bad. Feels like a suede, it's not suede, but it, it has that feel to it. You can see the C deck. This says it screams South Florida, screams Miami. Beautiful boat. All the way down the sides. The, Material is wrapped in it. Wow. All right, here's the Midnight Express 37. How do you like brown and brown so far? I love it. It's um, I know day just I love this. I love it. Beautiful boat. It's amazing. There's the 43. There's the 37. I've made so many connections through that. Thank you. This is my style, but also like learning insurance as well. All right, so we got 
quad 400s across the back, which is plenty of power. You're talking 1600 horsepower. Again, very, very similar look and feel and layout to the 43. All seats are forward facing, which is awesome. Dual 16 inch screens. Moving forward, looks like just a single berth and bathroom. Loungers on the bow. Really beautiful boat. Next door, the cigarette. Yes, silly. All right, amazing. The good thing about this boat is that it forces you to keep a skinny. <laughs> yes, because it all does. the seats are like this. All the seats are very so narrow. So you need to lie all the That's true. Be, you know. The seats are very narrow. Yes. My uh, hand from end of my pinky to so my thumb is... So that is a way is, to get you always being skinny. Uh, just you at can nine know. inches. So you're seeing you're about, you know, maybe a, a 14, 15 inch width. So got to stay thin on this boat. <laughs> All right. So one last stop at Chris Craft celebrating their 150 year anniversary. Just absolutely gorgeous boats. They're second to none with Chris Craft. craftsmanship as you would expect and the materials all top of the line beautiful very high quality yep all right let's see if we can walk up and Which get one? on some all right so we're at the Chris Craft venue this is the Launch 31 GT. It's in the 500. This is not like any other boat that you will see on the market. The stitches, the quality, the, the fabric. The stitching, the quality, the fabric is second Even to none. Nice, cute. Yes. Pillows. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And this is the right size to the yes, pilot look at and this. the first mate. Yep. The beautiful, right beautiful side, woodwork. Comfy. Traditional Chris Craft lines. Oh, just wow. gorgeous. No. You can feel that you're in a luxury boat. You are definitely <laughs> in a luxury quality boat. Yes, there is beautiful. no mistaking that. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a bad one, this one. And the size is good, it's comfy, you know, you feel... Yeah, very much so. Yes. See the bathroom? Yep. Okay. All right. This is beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Moving forward into the bow, very spacious area as well. Feel that difference. It feels like you're... Italian, Italian, Italian. Very, very gorgeous. All right. Highly recommend if you're at a boat show stepping on the launch their Very gorgeous boat. All right, so just finishing up at the Launch 31 GT. You can see it's a 10 foot beam at 11,000 pounds, very solid boat and about 500,000 for the show. This is the Launch 35 GT. Show price 600,000, 37 feet overall, 10 foot 10 beam. We'll step on that in just a second. And then the Calypso 35 as well. 11 foot beam, 
864,000. Absolutely gorgeous boats. All right, we're heading on the Launch 35 GT, 600,000. This is neat. It says triple 300s across the back. Push this along quite nicely. Again, you get that top quality feel from the material as soon as you walk on. Beautiful bathroom, woods all around the boat, accenting everything. Dual screens and then the traditional Chris Craft gauges. Joystick hidden back over here. Summer kitchen. Nice. Then it looks like you've got a little skylight. Skylight over the bathroom area. Which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Somebody's in the bathroom. If you need help, cool. There you if go. Not, wow, this is gorgeous. This, yes, I really love the this color. This bow area is yes. gorgeous. The palette color and the use is yeah. really good. Yeah, really color neat. palette is awesome. Very nice. Wow. The stitching and everything are just fantastic absolutely amazing and the leather you know yeah you can it just feel it feels like like i said it feels like an italian leather store just you know with amazing design quality to it all right so just a hidden feature we just found we have this really nice cabin underneath the helm station with a TV. So again, just a gorgeous boat. It's the wife is like, oh my gosh, why did you show me Chris Craft? Yes, exactly. My bank account just said, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so beautiful. Yep. Rear sunshade. Gorgeous boat. All right, this is the Catalina 30. 10 foot beam, 10,000 pounds, run you about half a million bucks. Powered by twin 350s, V10s. Center console. This is more of the fishing variety as opposed to the absolute luxury of the others, but Two front-facing seats, beautiful feel. We'll walk around up to the front bow, and oh, look who's there! Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel that is, you know, it's comfortable. It yes. I feel comfy very comfortable. here. I feel like I can be here. You can be there. Yes. Okay. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Love it. All right. And because it's a center console, you've got the cabin and toilet area. You can see the toilet actually is underneath the berth. So I guess you lift that up and you've got a sink down there as well. So really nice area. This one next to us, nice social area, rear facing like a coupe version of the same boat as opposed to a center console. It says the Calypso 35. Beautiful. Dual console version. Beach, 
Very impressive construction and design. Really nice. I love that rear facing lounger. So you've got a great social area here and then storage underneath the lounger. It's awesome. All right. Let's see the magic. All right, this is the Mercury electric outboard. You have a battery pack, which basically fits right inside this top compartment here. And then you just hold the tiller and you turn the power on according to your hand turn, almost like a motorcycle engine. Should we? So, see. very, very cool. Now, it's not So if you have a small inflatable or dinghy or something like that, mm -hmm. and you want real ease and powering that thing, there you go, right there. And then they have, from a 7.5 all the way up to a 35 horsepower. What? The estimate range is Oh yeah, there you go. All so right, estimated range. So, all electric control. Yep. So as you go slower, the range changes, and you can see what that's going to do to you right on the screen there. That's really neat. Really cool. And then here you can see the 7.5, the 35, and then a 20. Let's look at some of the stats down here. So very lightweight for the power output. And here's a 110. Again with the battery packs that you slide in and out. So very cool. Okay, we are finishing up our time here at the Miami Boat Show. It's been an amazing day. We saw a lot of amazing boats. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me what do you like or what do you see? Because your expectation was something when we start. So yes. now that you yeah, enjoy and you see everything, how do you feel about that? Well, I would definitely say the Miami Boat Show is something that you need to experience. There is practically everything here for everybody. Every manufacturer, every conceivable engine technology and people bringing new things to the show to show their innovation. I think one of the coolest things I saw today was the hydrogen engine from Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Really, really neat technology. I don't think it's feasible yet, but just the fact that that's even being discussed is amazing. And I think maybe someday we'll be able to ride on the water and the water is the actual fuel for the boat at the same time. How spectacular mm -hmm. would that be? Unlimited range and enjoyment. So. And a lot of money safe on gas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget Especially about that. Especially at $4, <laughs> $5 a gallon, maybe even 6 or 7 when you're in the Bahamas. So, But I think today we saw some amazing boats, uh, definitely from Boston Whaler. Sea Ray had a really strong showing. And of course, Chris Craft is always, always beautiful. The quality of the construction is just absolutely amazing. So has been has was my first time like mm -hmm. being in a boat shot with someone like really know a lot about boats and love boat like you oh yes because i was like okay i didn't know about this so what is this i was learning really a lot because you love boat that is your passion about so mm -hmm. i used to know oh, what is this is pretty i like this but you really know all the you know what is yes. behind that and what is safe and what is better so i, I, yeah. I learned a lot Boats you want to be on the water in and definitely in rough seas and then those boats that really should never leave a lake. So it's best to know what you're buying. So always do your research before you purchase a boat. Know exactly what your use is. Otherwise, you're going to pay too much for features you don't need. Um, or if you want to go offshore and you didn't get the proper boat, then you're going to be in trouble. And you're going to oh, find that out really otherwise fast. Otherwise, it's going to be scary and I say, no, I don't feel safe. I don't want to travel anymore. So yes. in that case, if you buy a, a strong boat, like for example, the Boston Whaler, we love that. Yes. It's because we like to go to Bahamas, different place, and it's really, you feel really good and safe you know, and protected safe. no matter what comes up and storms always happen. So. Anyway, we had a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.